Chapter 46 Thus saith the Lord God, The gate of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut the six working days. But on the Sabbath it shall be opened, and in the day of the new moon it shall be opened. And the prince shall enter by way of the porch of that gate without, and shall stand by the post of the gate, and the priest shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go forth, but the gate shall not be shut until the evening. Likewise the people of the land shall worship at the door of this gate before the Lord in the Sabbaths and in the new moons. And the burnt offering that the prince shall offer unto the Lord in the Sabbath day shall be six lambs without blemish, blemish, and a ram without blemish. And the meat offering shall be an ephah for a ram, and the meat offering for the lambs, as he shall be able to give, and an hin of oil to an ephah. And in the day of the new moon it shall be a young bullock without blemish, and six lambs and a ram, they shall be without blemish. And he shall prepare meat offering, an ephah for a bullock, and an ephah for a ram, and for the lambs according as his hand shall attain unto, and an hin of oil to an ephah. And when the prince shall enter, he shall go in by the way of the porch of that gate, and he shall go forth by the way thereof. But when the people of the land shall come before the Lord in the solemn feast, he that entereth in by the way of the north gate to worship shall go out by way of the south gate. And he that entereth by the way of the south gate shall go forth by the way of the north gate. He shall not return by the way of the gate whereby he came, but shall go forth over against it. And the prince in the midst of them, when they go in, shall go in, and when they go forth, shall go forth. And in the feasts and in the solemnities the meat offering shall be an ephah to a bullock and an ephah to a ram, and to the lambs as he is able to give, and an hin of oil to an ephah. And when the princes shall prepare a voluntary burnt offering, or peace offerings, voluntarily unto the Lord, one shall then open him the gate that looketh toward the east, and he shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings, as he did on the Sabbath day, and then he shall go forth, and after his going forth one shall shut the gate. Thou shalt daily prepare a burnt offering unto the Lord of a lamb of the first year without blemish. Thou shalt prepare it every morning. And thou shalt prepare a meat offering for it every evening, every morning, the sixth part of an ephah and the third part of a hint of oil to temper with fine flour, a meat offering continually by perpetual ordinance unto the Lord. Thus shall they prepare the lamb and the meat offering and the oil every morning for a continual burnt offering. Thus saith the Lord God, If the prince give a gift unto any of his sons, the inheritance thereof shall be his sons. It shall be their possession by inheritance. But he, if he give a gift of his inheritance to one of his servants, then it shall be his to the year of liberty, after it shall return to the prince. But his inheritance shall be his sons for them. Moreover, the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance by oppression, to thrust them out of their possessions, but he shall give his sons inheritance out of his own possession, that my people be not scattered every man from his possession. After he brought me through the entry, which was at the side of the gate into the holy chambers of the priests, which looked toward the north, and behold, there was a place on the two sides westward. Then he said unto me, This is the place where the priest shall boil the trespass offering and the sin offering, where they shall bake the meat offering, that they bear them not out into the utter court to sanctify the people. Then he brought me forth into the utter court, and caused me to pass by the four corners of the court, and behold, in every corner of the court there was a court. And in the four corners of the court there were courts joined of forty cubits long and thirty broad. These four corners were of one measure. And there was a row of buildings round about in them, round about them four, and it was made with boiling places under the rows and round about. Then said he unto me, These are the places of them that boil, where the ministers of the houses shall boil the sacrifice of the people. In chapter 46 we have more information about the sacrifices and how things should be done and who gets to do them. And it says that the burnt offering, verse 4, and the burnt offering that the prince shall offer, which is the burnt offering that the leader of the tribe will offer, Unto the Lord and shall be six lambs without blemish and a ram without blemish. Obviously he's going to have more because they assume he's going to have more. And the meat offering shall be an ephah, which is about a five gallon dry measure container for a ram. So almost almost a bushel, which would be maybe 50 pounds of wheat, of grain. 
Meat here doesn't mean meat, it means grain. And the grain offering for the lambs, shall, as he shall be able to give, so if somebody's giving lambs, because there were people who did, wouldn't have a ram or a lamb without blemish, but he could give good grain in place of it. And a hin of oil would be about a gallon of oil. So in place of having uh, either the ram or the bullock or whatever, they could offer other food. They could offer grain or oil. And this lists out who's going to do what. The people of land, verse 9, when the people of land shall come before the Lord in the solemn feasts, they're going, he that cometh in by the north gate shall go out by the south gate. He that enters by the south gate shall go out by the north gate. And he shall not return the way he came. In other words, you're not going to go back on your word. It's an interesting way of doing it. But the, all these things are symbolic. The prince, on the other hand, when he goes in, he goes out. He doesn't have to go in and out with the rest of the people. He gets to go out a special way because there's special things required of him. And it says in verse 12, Now when the prince, the leader of the tribe, shall prepare voluntary burnt offering or peace offerings, one shall then open him the gate. So he gets the gate open for him and after he leaves and somebody closes it. Okay. And verse 14, And thou shalt prepare meat offering for it, for a uh, burnt offering unto the Lord every morning. The sixth part of an ephah, which would be maybe 10 pounds of grain. And the third part of a hin of oil, which would be in the neighborhood of a, oh, about a quarter, a little more than a quarter, between a quarter and a half of a gallon of oil. To temper with fine flour, temper meaning mix. A meat offering, a grain offering, perpetually before the Lord. And then he's talking about the laws of the land here. Verse 16. If the prince give a gift unto any of his sons, the inheritance thereof, in other words, the ownership of that in, per, in perpetuity, in forever, shall belong to the son. It shall be their inheritance, their possession by inheritance. So he gave it to them, it's theirs to keep no matter what. But if you give a gift of his inheritance, in other words, a gift of land, a gift of property of some sort type of description to one of his servants, then every seventh year or every fiftieth year, depending on what it was, that gift would go back to the family. That, because that was the year of Jubilee when all debts were forgiven, everything had to be returned to the people who owned it. And that was something that Israel was going to have was going to live with forever. Verse 18. Because the prince, remember, was going to have his own land, his own property, and he was supposed to live off of the pro produce of that property and not tax the people, not take anything from them. Here's the law on that. Moreover, the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance by oppression. To thrust them out of their land, basically is what it is. But he shall give his son an inheritance out of his own possession. So out of the land that his that he received as part of the inheritance of all of the people, then he may give to his own sons an inheritance in that land. And that was all he was going to be able to do. Now, then it basically talks about the holy chambers of the priests which looked towards the north and there was a place on the two sides westward and there were cubicles there where they were going to have fires to boil the meat from certain the offerings and that they were going to be the meat was going to be boiled and it was going to be uh, because there were lots of people that were going to offer on the feast days and they needed lots of places for that to happen and so these are the places of them, in verse 24, them that boil, where the ministers of the house shall boil the sacrifice of the people. And then they had to sit and eat it all. 